In reference to docket number 4357-2169-3, 7th District, Quadrant 1, on behalf of one Bernard Q. McAllister versus Theodore Phineas Binkle the Third. Would you like some tea, Mr. Binkle? Thank you, yes. Mr. Binkle, may we assume that you understand the gravity of your predicament? With all due respect, sir, I'm not sure I understand my predicament at all. did nothing? No, sir. He just stood there and watched. That's correct, sir. Interesting. He called me a name, he did. A name? Yes, sir. What kind of name? Well, let's see. Big words. Such as? Violent. Yes. Revolutionary. Go on. Tribunal, I believe. Tribunal? Yes, that was it. Violent Revolutionary Tribunal. Most fascinating. And you took this to mean? I don't follow, sir. Just how did you interpret the epithet? I didn't think much of it, sir. It must have affected you on some level. I can't say it did, sir. It must have. It might have. Excepting? I don't know what those words mean. <laughs> I see. Mr. Binkle, I must be very frank and alert you as to the complexity of the situation. I'm a decent man. A decent, hard-working man. I mind my business, I don't bother anybody. And if I've done something wrong, I apologize. Be that as it may, 
you have admittedly trespassed and molested property classified as in rem by the proper authorities and assaulted a foreign but well-respected member of our community in retaliation for his planting a flower garden. But it was on my land. That does not justify an unprovoked battery. But he did provoke me. Did he raise a hand to you? No, sir. Did he make any move toward you? No, sir. Did he threaten you? No, sir. Did you fear for your life? No, sir. He simply slung an innocuous insult your way, the meaning of which you were unable to comprehend. That's correct, sir. And you responded? Yes, sir. How? Flattened him with a right cross to the bridge of the nose. A right cross. The bridge of the nose. He said nothing else? He said that all land due west of the irregular shaped lava rock, due east of the sycamore trunk, due south of Briars Brook, and due north of Quackenbush Lane is the sole property of one Bernard Q. McAllister. Well, I find that to be most absurd. Most absurd indeed. <laughs> Would you like some more tea, Mr. Bingo? What were they? Homegrown. I beg your pardon? The tea leaves. Homegrown. Yes, sir? I was speaking of the flowers. Flowers, sir? Mr. McAllister's garden? Not the tea leaves. No. Homegrown. Very nice. Would you like some more? Tea? Yes. No. Poppies, I believe. Poppies? I believe. Most peculiar. Could have been mums. Mums, you say? Could have been. Well, it's not as if it's difficult to distinguish twixt the two. Sir? The petals. Yes. Quite different dimensions. The leaves. Yes. Most dissimilar. The colors. Lots of colors. Altogether separate hues. And you mean to tell me that you can't tell the difference between a poppy and a mum? To have available to you a myriad of cosmetic and structural qualities which would allow you to distinguish one botanical species from another and you were unable to distinguish between a poppy and a mum? Yes, sir. Well, I find that to be most absurd. I tend to notice only the similarities. Similarities? Both have stems. Of unequal breadth. Both have pistols. Of unequal length. The root! You're trying our patience, Mr. Bingo. The sense! What about the sense? You can't deny both don't have sense, can you? Can you? Mr. Bingo. It is crucial that you understand that we derive absolutely no pleasure whatsoever from this afternoon's proceeding. And trust you appreciate our passing of judgment upon you with calculated measure, rather than with an angry outburst of raw emotion. And hope that ultimately you will respect this body for appealing to your intellect, rather than manipulating your perspectives through some well-made demagogic ritual. Mr. Tall, we are ready for you.
Here, please. Thank you. Gentlemen, justice has once again been served. We can all be proud. We must always combat ambiguity. Ambiguity is the enemy. The mortal enemy of civilization.